Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Apex by Demon Arisen. Cape Johnson here. PR and marketing department have recently underwent a change of staff, by which I mean they all got melted by acid, and now I have to do the, all their jobs. Some sort of freak accident with the sprinklers, apparently. God rest their horrifically liquefied souls. Anyway, my latest venture into marketing is to record our latest advert, so here goes. Introducing Aperture's latest consumer product, the solar-powered umbrella. It's so easy to use, even you can do it. Simply leave the umbrella outside in direct sunlight for 24 days, then when you need to use it, press the on button, and it will generate an anti-precipitation -pre force field, perfect for keeping you dry. Warning, do not allow the umbrella to come to contact with water in any capacity. This will fry the electronics. Alright, hang on a second. So, this umbrella, you can't use in the rain? Well, I guess you could use it once and then get immediately electrocuted. You know what? I think these umbrellas would make great gifts for families of the PR department. Cape Johnson, we're done here, for now. Welcome to Apex, a medium question mark difficulty monoportal map, which honestly, I'm not too sure about. I'm worried it might be frustrating to play. I could really do with some feedback on this one, so let me know what you think. Alright, well... Let us get started in that case. I'm always a good fan of monoportal maps. Hopefully it isn't too frustrating. I guess we'll find out what that is referring to, momentarily. The lighting kinda looks weird there. Ah, well, I'm just D mod. Hmm. Interesting. Hehehehe! <laughs> Um, okay. That's not your fault, Demon, that that's frustrating. That's, uh, jumping into floor portals has always been a problem for me. But I don't know if that's what Demon was talking about, I'm just... Whoa! Fancy animations! Calm down now, Demon Arisen, don't- we don't need to get that fancy, I think you're gonna hurt somebody's eyes with that amount of fanciness. What do we have up here? Uh, excuse me. Valve? Sometimes you can walk over things, but only if you already have some momentum, and then you just can't walk over things if you don't have momentum for some reason. It's like, if, if I walk up next to these... I'm holding left right now, and I cannot walk over it at all. It, it, it's impossible to walk over this. But, if I come at it from a distance... Sometimes I can walk over it, and sometimes I can't? What? I can walk forward over it, but not left over it? So like, right now I'm holding forward, but then... Yeah, I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, it's completely unrelated to the puzzle. I'm just pointing out a weird absurdity. <laughs> now that is, uh... Interesting behavior. <coughs> Excuse me. It appears that I am allergic to interesting behavior. Uh, this will just kill me if I do anything, so let's get out of there. There is a funnel way up there. Wow. Well, I think I see what needs to happen here, so... If I had to take a guess... This would be useful somehow. And it appears it is useful. Hey, right on the button! Fancy that. Looks like we'll want to pull ourselves up there at some point. Let's press this button, and this button. Why not? Wait, what does that do? Turns off the fizzler. Ooh. Okay then. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and just shove this on up here. Ah, uh, excuse me. Get shoved. There you go. And then we can jump down here. Do this repeat procedure. Good thing the portals are oriented in just the right way. That we always see where we need to go. Uh, excuse me. I- I do believe that when I shoved you, you ended up not the correct orientation. Perfect. So let's do that for now. And let's see what's up here, for instance. A whole place for us to go somewhere. Interesting. So, we could easily get this cube, I suppose. I do wonder how we're gonna turn off the funnel, though. Hmm. 
Well, anyway, let's just get this cube. There we go. And, uh, oh. I suppose we can just do this to make a return trip. Ta-da! Don't even need to return off the funnel. That's also how we do turn off the funnel, so, yeah. That works. Just a multi-step process. We head back into here. And this is definitely what the tutorial room, the first tutorial room was teaching us about this whole room right here. It's gonna be important. In fact, I have a feeling that we'll want to put this regular cube where the companion cube is right now. I don't think I've ever heard the funnel version of this song. Hmm. Alright, so, let's swap these cubes, because I think that's what we need to do. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the asbestos and the funnel beams. Get out of here, cube. Aw, oh, crap, I just rotated this, didn't I? Wait, what? I could have sworn that toppled, but it ended up right side up anyway? That's... a little bit... disturbing, to say the least. <laughs> or at least, something about that is kind of alarming. Right, so we go all the way up, and then... I'm not actually sure what we need to do. So we can go here... How are we gonna take this cube with us, though? That's gonna be a bit of a question. Maybe if I just set it right on the edge here, I'll be able to grab it on the way down. Alright, well... Here goes nothing. Grab! Nope, couldn't grab it. Hmm. Let's try that again. What if we put it on the edge, on the floor? So if we put it right approximately here. I don't even think we need to jump from this platform, honestly. I think we'll have enough velocity without that, so... I can do that, and then... Let's do that. And... Oh right, I need to press the button first. Well, at least we know what to do now, sort of. I need to press the button... Ooh, how are we gonna do that, though? And I don't know when it got fixed, but somebody fixed the whole ability to continue playing the music when you reload the game. That shit's been happening automatically in this map. I don't know if B-Mod fixed it or what, but that's awesome that it finally got fixed. Hmm... Aha! Ahahaha! I see you, as Rector Rocks would say. Or as, uh... Yeah. As the Na'vi would say. I wonder if I can even get that cube- OH NO! I didn't even notice that! Well, never mind, I don't see you. Uh, okay then, huh. What am I going to do about that? The funnel is behind... and in front of... the cube dropper, at the same time. And now the cube dropper is... behind the funnel, but in front of the glass. Layering! is hard to do. Or so I've heard. I sure hope we don't need to catch the cube while it's going through there like that or something. Hmm... There's no way to press that button and then go all the way up there... ...fast enough. 
And we can't stand on that ledge, and see that portal. Like, if we're- if we're standing here, we cannot place the portal up there. And if we drop down here, there's no way to get back up here again. So, that's out of the question. Interesting. What an interesting science fact. Uh, Windows, let me move my mouse please. Thank you. <laughs> that was weird. confused about what to do here. Because really, if I just have a portal up there, and then I stand there, I'd be in pretty good condition. Can't use the companion cube to bump me up in any particular way. That's only for getting up to here. That's just for getting... up to there. And I guess we could also have reached here with it. If we strafed out onto this. We might have been able to, but I just didn't try. Uh... That's just for getting out of the pit if we get stuck down there. that from here. Although, that looks like the underside of the button showing through here. <laughs> Strange. Hmm. I am actually quite stumped. Doesn't really matter too much which cube we use, I don't think. This whole thing with pressing this button... and respawning the cube... So here's the thing, if I was over here, I could just take the cube off myself, and it doesn't matter which cube I used, because then I could- I could also just respawn the cube off of it like that as well, by pressing this button with the... the companion cube. Huh. How do I get up there, but then also I have a portal up there? Hmm... Perplexing. We can't do anything once we're up at the top here, so we can't like, ride it to the top and then drop down. Yeah, once we're up at this position, there's nothing we can do to get either of these cubes to disintegrate or get off of a button, or whatever. So as nice as it would be to just do this and then do that... ...can't be done. And that is not at the same height level as that, so we can't funnel the cube off the button. Interesting. Am I missing something in this room? I don't think I am, but I suppose I could check. There's nothing particular in, in this room either. We've already discussed this scientific fact. Don't really want this on the floor, to my knowledge.
I must be missing something simple. Yeah, that was weird. Good old valve logic. Once we do that... We still have our portal stored up there. But if we go over here at all... Like, using that, we lose all of our momentum, basically. And once we get over there, it's basically like restarting the puzzle from scratch. Very perplexed. Medium difficulty, huh? What in the world am I missing? I don't need to put the companion cube on top of the regular cube, right? That wouldn't make much sense. What would I even use that for? Like, it would give me a small delay where the funnel's off, but I don't see how that's gonna be useful at all. Yeah, I don't think putting the cube on top of the other cube is a- is a solution. I mean, we can also- we can also launch a cube instead of ourselves. Oh no, we can't because we can't- can't fire there, so... Smash the Wheatley monitor. What? Ha I hit th that rim. That was interesting. But yeah, if there was a Wheatley monitor, I would have smashed it. Nothing moves that mono portal position. That just fizzles that. That doesn't quite land on there perfectly. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> what? I'm- I'm a bit confused now, because I'm just going in circles now. I've restarted the puzzle, basically. I'm not... I'm not seeing it. Something... something... something funnels. Haven't mentioned them bad with funnels, cause, uh... Oh boy, am I really struggling on this map. I literally cannot see what to do that I haven't tried already, or that I haven't thought about already. There we go, at least we got this oriented properly.
So just for fun, let's let's put the cube on top of the cube and sh demonstrate just how useless that is. Cube on top of cube. There we go. Go through here again. Climb up here at three times speed. Cause I can. There we go. Back to normal speed, please. And let's look how much time delay there is. Not much at all. That's hardly enough time to do a darn thing. And the funnel's just gonna catch me no matter what I do, so... And that doesn't help keep a portal up there, so... And I definitely need the regular key, because if I was up there... ...and I had a portal, something's gotta do... ...something's gotta have to do with this regular cube, because... ...without the regular cube, if I could find a way up there... ...I could just take the cube off the button myself. So... Yeah, let's go get regular cube. Give me a regular cube. You're coming with me, sir. Alright, regular cube and not regular cube. We need to swap places. Let's put that there. I'm pretty sure it needs to be there. There's no other buttons, right? There's no other places to put a cube. So I'm pretty sure this one can just, uh... Can just stay there. That should work. There's that issue. That's the issue right there. Like, even if we press that button, and then climb up here and immediately press this button and jump down, that's still not going to be enough time. Because we checked the timer, it's- it's nowhere near that long. It is a very short timer. We'll go all the way up, just to demonstrate how short that timer is. Ah, oh, but now I can't even get there! And that, see, that's the other thing, is even if I was there... Couldn't really do much, honestly. Yeah, look how short that timer is. There is nowhere near enough time to do anything with the timer that length. Yeah, it's gonna completely turn off before I can even get up. Yep, it's turned off already. So that's not useful. What in the world am I missing? I can't, like, strafe out of this funnel onto solid ground. That's not gonna happen anytime soon. We pointlessness. Huh. And this button just respawns the regular cube. I need to press that button though, and that's the whole thing that's confusing me. Because once I get over there, I, I don't have my velocity, I don't have my portal up there. I'm missing something, and I don't know what it is. Hmm. Really... I'm really, really stuck. I'm gonna stop recording to think about this, so... Give me a sec here. Ah, uh, I don't know why I ever thought Demon would expect somebody to grab a cube... ...while falling. 
Cause that's not something that demon does. That's- that's not a- that's not a demon derogative. Derogative, whatever. Yep. <laughs> I am so bad with funnels, I can't see the forest for the trees. There we go. Let's see, let's just leave that there for now. And, uh... Hmm. What's the best way to do this? Cause really we just need to launch the cubes, not ourselves. Hmm. I just noticed, that might still be a little bit unintended there, he demon. Cause I could totally... I could totally... Yeah, I can totally hit that in time, I'm pretty sure. Well, it's very difficult to do it, evidently, but it seems possible. Anyway. Let's just do that. Oh, that's not gonna... that's not gonna work. Alright, well. I know somewhere that will work. Let's do that. There we go. And then... Excuse me? Did you just say something to me? Cause I didn't hear it. No, that's not gonna work. Oh, it did work. Okay then. I thought that wasn't gonna be enough velocity at all. That was the solution though? Okay, I made that a lot harder than it needed to be, I suppose. Um... Okay, then. Why did I just do that for? I'm- I'm- I'm loopy. I don't know. <laughs> uh... There we go. And then we just do this the normal way to get ourselves over there. Yeah. I made things a lot harder, and I- I don't know, I guess I made myself expect something completely different. I have a tendency to completely overcomplicate maps. But this is a new one. This is- this is like, so overcomplicated, I can't even begin to describe what I was thinking this map required. Right. Wish me luck! Geronimo! There we go, that works. Right, now we just gotta reorient this, and we should be able to get out of here. And... Oh, backwards. There we go. And... There we go. Alright. Now I can just do this trick. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! Nice work, Demon Arisen. You confused me.